In our present economy, small businesses are looking for an edge. They need to look no further than the City of Tampa's Minority Business Development Office. Located on the fifth floor of the Tampa Municipal Office Building, the Minority Business Development Office, commonly known as MBD, is focused on ensuring that a diverse group of small businesses have a fair and equal opportunity to participate in the city contracting and procurement activities. Basically, MBD makes selling goods and services to the city of Tampa a less stressful process. Gregory Hart, MBD manager, talks about why city government has a compelling interest in small businesses. Small businesses, be them woman-owned, ethnic minority-owned, or just small, they are the lifeline of our community. We need to focus on them and be supportive and recognize their needs. The city's focus is economic development. Well, this office and its contribution to that objective is economic development through inclusion. Our local government knows that fairness within the business enterprise is a key part to maintaining and growing a city. This notion of fairness is the main reason why the Tampa City Council approved the Equal Business Opportunity Program Ordinance in 2008. The Small Local Business Enterprise Program, also known as the SLBE Program, and the Women and Minority Business Enterprise Program, which is referred to as the WMBE Program, are the avenues that the office uses to help small businesses become certified vendors with the City of Tampa. It requires that a company has 25 or less full-time employees, the owner or owners are residents of the state of Florida. The business is located in Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Polk, or Manatee counties. The business is independently owned and operated. And the business's annual gross receipts average over the past three years are $2 million or less. Hart talks about the advantage of this program. I think the practical outcomes are very simple, and that's to ensure access to the city's procurement opportunities, the contracts, uh, purchase of goods and supplies. What that does is it promotes, it develops, it grows small businesses because now they're included. The other half of MBD's push to achieve fairness in government contracts is the WMBE program. This program is open to people of color and women that live within the state of Florida with businesses that have been active for at least one year. Hart believes by participating in the program, women and minority businesses are given the credibility to provide goods and services for other public and private organizations. Our private sector partners recognize the credibility and integrity of that certification. And therefore, they look to us to make referrals, to provide a list or directory of certified small and local businesses so that they can meet some of their diversity supplier initiatives. Although MBD operates in the public sector, it measures its success in a similar fashion to private businesses by focusing on outcomes. Through collaboration with the City of Tampa's Technology and Innovation Department, a comprehensive monitoring software program was developed. The software tracks payments made by the City of Tampa to all vendors and subcontractors that perform work on behalf of the city. Hart says reviewing outcomes and internal practices have set his office on a course to help more companies in the future. The staff in this office is very dedicated, very committed to assisting small businesses, women and minority owned businesses. It's very rewarding to experience assisting the local business community and watch a business grow and evolve and to be successful. In downtown Tampa, this is Joe Cordero reporting for Spotlight Tampa.